Hi everyone, it's Jackie. Let's talk real today. Today I am going to uh, blog to you about INR levels. That is your blood. Now, for some of you out there, I see this is an open heart surgery form. You may not have had a mechanical valve. For others, you know what I'm talking about. A mechanical valve requires a drug called Coumadin. That is our our blood thinner. With a with a, a mechanical valve, there are no other options. It's either Coumadin or none. Hopefully, someday down the road, they may come out with something else. The reason today that I'm I'm blogging you is because last night I spent a lot a great amount of time on a specific site speaking to other heart patients on their INR levels and I uh, found that some of them were as high as 6.7 and 7.2 and it scared me because at that point I remember back in January of 2017 I was at a 6.7 when I had a brain bleed a major brain bleed a brain bleed that was two centimeters that put me in the intensive care for 10 no 11 days 11 days it's so important that you check your blood I'm an advocate I guess maybe my body had a hard time adjusting to the the cuminin because before I had the brain bleed I had two individual surgeries on my nose because I hemorrhaged twice out of my nose two separate times they had to go in and and um, operate I thought it was adjusted obviously I couldn't adjust to Coumadin maybe I didn't listen well they they say you have to watch your K you know K could be your friend K could be your enemy I loved greens and I think maybe um, I had to adjust to how much I ate of those but um, greens actually thicken your blood so it wasn't that problem mine was too thin that's what uh, caused my brain bleed I to this day I go weekly I am two and a half years out I've had four brain bleeds not brain bleeds four hemorrhages two in my nose one in my brain and I just had surgery seven weeks ago in my lungs I had a surgery called plictation of the uh, diaphragm obviously during my open heart surgery my diaphragm was compromised that's what they tell me and what happened is because of them sewing it up and it was compromised it was floating around and it just went up into my left lung and pretty much was squeezing it 75 percent of the way I had the surgery it's been successful but the reason I'm telling you this is because four days after the surgery when I was sent home I was back in the hospital 12 hours later because I was hemorrhaging from my lungs a liter and a half of blood laying in my lung hemorrhaging again this is nothing to play with guys we have had a second chance and I probably have had three chances between the open heart, the brain bleed, and, and the lung surgery, I am overly cautious. They, they want me now to go every other week to have my blood checked. I say no. I go every week. And until I feel comfortable with my blood being adjusted and staying at that state, I will go every week and know that if it changes, they're going to adjust uh, what they call my formula your Coumadin formula. So with that being said, everyone, I'm not going to make this a long blog and I'm not going to preach to the choir because you all know what it's like if you have to take that pill. All I'm saying is please don't let it get that high. I am on a 2.0 Coumadin five days a week and two days a week I take a one. I know I'm on a low dose. Some of the people that I spoke to yesterday, they were taking seven milligrams and, and one gentleman was taking a 10. So everybody's body's different and it responds different to the Coumadin. 
but every it's the same thing it's all about adjusting our our levels see an average person that never had heart surgery is at a one everybody that is just normal nothing to do with their heart one if we one we would be probably in a stroke you can't be a one the the little flopper in that valve has to be thin enough to move so at that point I would say it's your body it's our life it's our second chance of our life please take care of yourself because I know I want to stick around for a while and, and I want to have some good quality of life. And for all of you out there, I wish you all the best. Till the next time. Ciao.